Okay, check this out. I am going to build another ramp lift for my garage to show you how easy they are to build. They have lots of these on the internet that you can buy, but I couldn't find one that would fit everything I wanted it to. This, I don't know if any of you saw the Raptor I built the other day, I went ahead and put stickers on there even though I wasn't going to. But as you can see, that fits on there nice. And that's plastic. This is probably the biggest, longest die cast truck that I have. It fits on there. And it's pretty heavy. And it's not moving at all. This thing is stout. So it'll hold anything. At least 124 scale size. So I'm going to show you how I did this. This is all the pieces that I've cut here. There's really not that many pieces. And if you want to build it, here is the list of what I did, of all the parts, of all the sizes. It'll be exactly to what I have. You can pause this and copy it down, or I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. But anyway, um, I've already got these marked where I'm going to drill the holes. And the plan is to drill a hole here and then I have this marked quarter inch all the way around. I'm going to whittle that down to where that's round and that will fit into my round hole a quarter inch deep. I've got my drill, I've got my bit marked so that it only goes in a quarter inch. I'm not going to bore you with watching how that's done. I will cut back in after I get the holes drilled. Alright, now we're back. Got my holes drilled. I got the ends rounded over. So now they fit in the hole. Cut basically made a dowel rod out of it. See that in the same way. So now we're together. I already got the other side together. Now we gotta make them square. Put our glue in here, obviously, first. Put your glue in here, then put it down over here by your square, and then you measure. Measure this side, and you measure this side, and you make a match. There we go. Just tight against the square on this end, both ends tight against the square here so we're square I measured the distance between each one so now I know that it's going to be plumb I'll do the same for that one and then we'll continue on alright these have dried now both of them you can see they both stand up on their own which is good I've already marked an inch on either end of this this too. We'll do this to both sides and then we'll glue these to the rails. That was way too heavy, but it'll wipe off. Pull out the clamps. Clamp it tight. Lay that down. I get my rag. paper towel, wipe off all that extra glue. <coughs> I'm 
Close it off on both sides. A little extra glue won't hurt. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see if we can do the next one without so much glue. down, put another clamp there, and that gives us two stops when we put it up against the rails. Put a little dab there, a little dab there, Slide this one over to here. Put another clamp. Slide it on to here. Put the clamp on that. And we'll flip this one over and put it on. My big fat fingers don't want to cooperate and get in here. But that's that. Let that set up and dry and we'll finish put the rest of the pieces on. Alright, everything should be dry by now. Take all these clamps off. There we go. Pretty sturdy. So that's pretty good. Now we have just a few pieces left. The hardest piece is this one right here. I've already got it laid out to do the pump with. See the top of it square. And then I just carved the bottom of it to look similar to a tank with my hobby knife. And then that's the hardest part. Other than that, you just gluing on two tire stops, gluing on the pump, gluing on the pump control, gluing on the two ramp ends, and then gluing on the four feet. And this thing is done, other than paint. I'll show you a couple pictures as I'm finishing up, and then it'll be done. Okay, I got this one done. Painted it red instead of blue like the other one. Painted the back ramps yellow. You got the pump assembly in, the controls, tire stops. Painted the two rails here yellow because that's what I saw in the one that I looked up on the internet. So that's done. Hopefully you can build one as quickly as we built this one. Thanks. Bye.